whole fucking way. Oh, Look who it is. <laughs> Mr. Jason Love. How you doing, man? It was good. It was good. Uh, we're just doing a little podcast here and uh, figured that we would, uh, you know, have a little... They called this nigga? You called this nigga? Wait. Y'all married. You be clipping. This is wifey. You be clipping wifey. He just came back from clipping wifey. This nigga's dead smiling. Heavy as hell. Smiling. OD. Sent her back to you and then you called him. I don't want to say cloud is a drug, but like this entertainment shit is, can get crazy. Well, conversation with you to see exactly how all this was for you as well. Nah, 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 nah. I'm saying it like that because this niggas is asleep. It's like 12:30 right now. My nigga, no way, bro. No way, bro. You call this nigga to ask him how was it clipping wifey? Yo, you niggas is different. You new niggas is different, yo. You new niggas is different. I'm pussy. I don't, like, I don't, I don't, as of today, after seeing this, this is not even gangster to me. I don't, I, I'm just saying, though, like, you asked him, how was it? I'm sorry, I just can't fathom this. I just, I, nigga could tell me, like, oh, yeah, son did, ah, uh, son let niggas clip wifey and then ask him how it was. I'd be like, yo, and knock it the fuck off, bro. Nigga ain't do that. Niggas ain't doing that. Niggas not cut like that. Niggas, niggas is not even deranged enough to even think of, think of no diabolical ass shit like that. And right in front of my fucking face, some other shit is going on. Wow. Cool, cool. That's why I chimed in. Catch y'all. See what's up. Definitely. So, is there? What's the vibe like between you guys? Anything I should know about? There, I don't think there's a, like a really vibe. I think it's like a business thing. But I feel just very uncomfortable with yeah, this right now. <laughs> I felt awkward. A little uncomfortable. Can you Maybe tell him how nervous I was? Bro, like so nervous. Oh my god, I, I feel so wrong right now. I feel so wrong right now. Like it was like bad. It's just work. Okay. Calm down. But a lot of people have like a cheating fetish. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like the, the I feel like you do. Yeah, told, yeah. This thing, Adam, I'm telling you, it was his idea, bro. Low key, he hurt, but low key, he's excited. Like this is, he's a give and a take with this nigga. Cause how? This nigga is too, too like, copacetic about the shit. My son is mad. Cheating I've done in the past. This nigga I is smiling in your face, my nigga. Y'all joking about clipping wifey who was right in front of you. I know niggas who've gotten violated for way less when it came to wifey. Y'all niggas are sitting around chatting about this? I'm a little bit turned on by the fact. Matter of fact, I'm next. That I was doing Fuck something. Fuck I mean, not next like that. Like, hey, if I'm about to become in the, I'm about to become in the industry, get big enough to where I can clip on to. Underhand, or Respectfully. Take, take myself out of it, but like, if you're fucking a girl and you know she has a boyfriend, I'm trying, I'm trying to see wrong, That is kind of hot. Yeah, this nigga's this nigga's lost. I just want I just want y'all to hear that real quick one more time. So nervous. Oh my god, I, I feel so wrong right now. I feel so wrong right now. Like, it like it's just work. Okay, but a lot of people have like a cheating fetish. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like the, the I feel like you do. Yeah, cheating I've done in the past was I'm a little bit turned on by the fact that I was doing something underhand or take take myself out of it. But like, if you're fucking a girl and you know she has a boyfriend and she's doing something wrong, that is kind of hot. Is it? A little bit. You see, he knows. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. The relationship don't got nothing to do with it. You don't respect your relationship. How, how are you gonna expect me to respect it? Truth, my nigga. That's why when people be getting out of line, let's say, let's say, prime example, let's say niggas get out of line, your nigga step out and go fuck another bitch. Or, or your bitch step out, go fuck another nigga. You can't check the nigga outside of your relationship, bro. Because he's him or her is not expected to respect you or what y'all got going on. That shit don't got nothing to do with them, to be honest. Shorty your son came to do what they came to do and go home. You feel me? They wasn't taking wifey back with them or, or your, hug, your husband back with them. Like Niggas came to handle business. Get spanked out or do the spanking. And, you feel me? Get out of there. You got to check wifey. Or, or, your, or your mans. And if not... Break up with them. If you don't feel like it's necessary in order to check them out, you be like, all right, you feel me? You did what you did. You ain't my bitch no more. You never was my bitch. Oh, you never was my nigga. Ah, whatever. You feel me? 
and do that. But you don't check the nigga outside of that. That's weird, bro. You look weird. And y'all niggas be going out. I've seen niggas go out sad, too. Joint, some joints, I, I kind of, is double standard. You can say what you want. I expect that from joints. I expect joints to be trying to violate it. So, some joints, at least. But, like, niggas, y'all niggas be hitting the other nigga up. Like, yo, bro, stop fucking my bitch. Yo, bro, huh? Now I'm about to fuck again. Sp- Block a top. Like, I'm about to, sit. now a nigga might send you the video or you, oh, your wife getting spanked out. Shit may cause a uh, catastrophic events to occur after that. But I'm just saying, my nigga, don't tell me not to clip wifey. Like, now I'm going to want to do it even more. Like, come on, son. Check your girl. Now, who's to say, you feel me, you came at her and you're like, all right, go clip, all right, whatever. You feel me? That'd be the dead. But now, it's egos at this point. Because you tough as hell. I already spanked. I already spanked and then sent her home back to you, my nigga. And you and my phone were talking crazy. My nigga, I gave her back. I could have fake kept her for a little bit. You feel me? Went on Instagram blog. Feel me? Threw, threw, got 100 views up there. Get, y'all giving me the got, got. You heard? Wow, Mata. You feel me? Yamaka Yamiski, all crazy. You feel me? Spitting on the mic and all that. Pause. I mean, not pause, but like, word. I don't know what I'm talking to. So, just in case. I niggas, I niggas need to have some respect, my nigga. Cause niggas can really violate. It's kind of like that adrenaline. That adrenaline like, yeah, I feel so guilty if, if I was the other woman. Okay, so Jason, give me a, hmm? a genuine review. How was it? <sighs> Asking another man to honestly review your wife. Well, he's a swinger, but that's fucking crazy, bro. She got the eyes closed. I don't know if that's if I caught it out of frame when she went to blink. Let's see. You went like, nah, that wasn't a blink. That was a look off, like oh, like a, like a, a number scale or just like <sighs> numbers. This is crazy, bro. Sounds like it. Am I bugging? Hurtful, but <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if it's a high number, sure. It's like a four. <laughs> 100% 9 out of 10. Really? Wait, was this? Wait, hold on. That was fucking crazy. Is this? Was he laughing and wasn't making sounds? Nah. <laughs> the, hold on. Hold on. Nah. That was a fake ass laugh. Numbers sounds like it could be hurtful, but <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if it's a high number, <laughs> sure. Like a four. <laughs> yeah. No fuck. Nah. Maybe it's the audio. This nigga just fake laugh in front. Yo. This nigga. Oh, who is this nigga? What's his name? Jason Love. Son, spanked wifey and really fake laugh. On live. With the view in the back. This nigga's living a good life. Or. <laughs> 100% 9 out of 10. 100%. Really? Nine out of- that was it was a fake laugh. I could tell. Look how quick my son responded. Ah, ah, fake laugh. Ah, this thing is wild. Ah, yeah. Nine out of ten, I spanked the shit out of wifey shit. You heard? She was fat and all that. You feel me? Nigga spit in her face and you know I mean her ass and all that. Ah, where? Huh? Jiju, bro. He's confused. She's happy. This nigga's playing mind games. Son is on Malcolm X time. The th- the the index right here is like thinking. No, what are you thinking about? You just spanked. You won, King. Chill. A ten. Who's a ten? Well, I'm just look at her. She's enjoying this shit. She's like, huh? Oh. Well, she. Well, it was a nine out of ten. I never, I never grasped an entire ten before. It's like you gotta leave room for something that could possibly be top of the next one. Oh. This nigga is yo, yo, yo. Okay, yeah. I'll take a nine then. That's fair. Um, okay, yeah. So a lot of people want to know, uh, I don't know, just like w- if I should feel diminished as a man as a result of this. Like the cuck narrative is very, very strong. I just want to get your thoughts on that and if, if, if how people should think about that in, in the context of me being, you know, the, the silent third party in all this. Well, I don't know. Like if you look at it in a business aspect, then basically it was just a job, you know. She's high up in her ranks. I'm high up in my ranks. Us two together obviously make the most amounts of money. So 
not so much being a cuck. If you're comfortable with it and y'all communicated it prior, obviously she said y'all did. So it's not really a cuck situation. It's more of like two people coming and making an understanding. Yeah. You know, so if you cool. Cuck situation is more of like two people coming and making an understanding. Yeah. You know, so if you cool with it, then, you know, it is what it is. So, Me personally, I don't know if I have enough in me to allow it. But Facts. everyone's different. This nigga, this nigga gave a great answer. Everyone have different levels of, how say, mental maturity. Well, it would be kind of weird for you to find a dude bigger than you. Pause, Maybe they pause, can pause, 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 bro, pause. What the fuck did that have to do? Like, pause, my nigga. How do we? He's confused. He's confused. He's whoa. What happened? What you mean? Why? Why that? Why that matter? What's going on here? And if you say anything other than that, my nigga, if you say anything other than that, you know what? I I got you down for saying something crazy. You just said some shit. You just spit some facts, though. I don't know what you about to retaliate with. Let's see. Back to Andre the Giant or something. Maybe you could get Pause. Brock Lesnar to come through and cut it up for you. But I mean, cut you're kind of like with the biggest dude that Pause. I can think of. I don't know. It's gonna be tough for you to find a bigger guy. Pause. What? The? Oh, they got they got a couple. They got a couple. Yeah. What? Pause. What the? F I don't know how many times I just said pause. Yeah, I count. Let me know in the comments how many times I just say pause. Cause back between these, this interaction was crazy. What happened? But I could you know, it's not just the size; it's everything that goes into it that makes it, you know. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Lena, Lena is just like shriveling up into a ball right now. I can see how uncomfortable this is making you. Yes, this is making me very uncomfortable, and I'm glad that he's only, you know, on Zoom and not here right now. You think that would be awkward? Yes. Also, I feel like I'd feel very a lot of sexual tension, and I felt like we would have to do a scene oh if you guys were God. both here. See, she's out of control now. She's on a tear. <laughs> this nigga fake laugh again. She just brought up a threesome. That's how it starts. It's a gateway. You know how they be like. You know how they be like. Oh yeah, weed is a gateway drug. This is for him agreeing to that was a gateway, brother. And guess what? I guarantee you three of them, the three of them is going to do something together. If I was a bad man, I'd bet 100K on it. I've been known to have that effect. I apologize. Oh. Nah. Mad confident. You shook. She's like, oh, shit. He's wilding. But word. I'm going to have to really mind you next time you're going to an adult event that he's going to be at, right? No, but I would be turned on if you were there. Clean that uh, shit up. She cleaned that shit up. So, so fucking good. Yeah, it's like you're part of it. And he's like, yeah, good. Good, good shit. Good shit. I'm glad you did that. Because I ain't got to deal with that at home. You heard? I ain't got wifey running around. Word. Make sure, just make sure you secure. We, we spin the, I get to spin a block again. It don't matter. So you think. Look at him. Me and you go out to a party and we see him that there's a chance that we'd all end up hooking up after i don't know what his stance is on working with you he just jail. they just jailed off this nigga crazy but low-key they played into what, he, what my son adam is going for she just worked them he just worked both of them she, i don't know his stance he's gonna say yes because he wants a clip but he doesn't care i know it already oh wow, wow. <laughs> good point yeah I don't, I don't care. What I tell oh, you? Hell. What the fuck did I tell you? You don't give a fuck. He's gonna he, the bag he probably got was like, oh fuck it, and I get the clip again. Fuck, and I'm you feel me? He's paused. I don't you feel me? They saying he the top of his game. Pause. I don't know. I don't. I never seen something before. But come on, son. Hell yeah. I get it. Yeah. I get it in regardless. Damn, that would be yeah. I can see that. Yo. That would probably kind of make me feel like I had put a cap on this whole situation if we all what? did it together. Wow, maybe that is the three way that we should do because that would be pretty viral rather than just some random guy, right? Yeah. It would, it would be crazy. Hmm. As long as she's happy as fuck, my son has secured another bag. I'm not Yo. sitting in a chair with my fucking you arms tied one, behind my back shot. or whatever. What I tell you? you gotta hold the yep. camera for one shot. All right, so now I gotta rewrite the script. <laughs> yeah, what what, are, what do people need to know about Jason Love since, like, you're kind of 
I, I almost feel like a large percentage, like maybe even the majority of now, the photos but. that you're going to be taking over the next year or so, you're going to, it's going to be people saying like, you're the dude who fucked Adam 22's wife. I don't know. I mean, I know you get recognized all the time, but it's well, kind of an interesting I, scenario that you're in now, right? I got stopped on the street like four or five times already. <laughs> Normally it's just to talk to me about me, but then it was like, oh, you know, no jumper look wife. I'm like, <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> wow. Insane. Um, yeah, you're going to get more of those offers. <laughs> See, I've only had a couple people say that to me. I'm sure he gets that all the time. All the time. Right. So if we do choose to have another kid, how am I going to know it's mine and not? Oh, oh my God. I can't. No, cut. What? What? <laughs> Don't even bring that up. Are you kidding me? Nah, well, this that's one of the good memes that people have been passing around. It's like me. This nigga fake laughing is pissing me off. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> this, this the the fake the fake rich nigga laugh is, is pissing me off. I get it though. That shit is pissing me the fuck off. You're cuddling with your <laughs> belly and there's a little black kid inside it. I hate you. That I was racist so somehow, but that was the first time I actually heard him. You know what I'm saying? A little chuckle. That that was I don't know why, but that just felt a little racist somehow. I don't know why. I don't know how. I don't know why. Just a bit. Um, is is BBC offensive? What the fuck? No, it's just a visual description. It's not what you're saying. It is what it is. You, you see it, that's what it is. Like, Th that's what I'm saying. But I wonder if I get too comfortable with talking about black people's shit because of the fact that, like, all my co-hosts on the podcast are black and stuff. Because I've seen some of these lily white fucking hipster bitches on Twitter just raging out, being like, oh, he's still wilding. Offensive. And I won't respond to him, but I am thinking in my head, like, you have never been around black people besides getting fucked by them for your OnlyFans. So shut the fuck up. That's kind of what's going on in the back of my head. I don't like using it because I feel like I just don't. I don't care if you see a school bus and it's yellow. <laughs> like, where did you park? By the big yellow school bus. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, it's just, it's a statement of fact. And like, I don't like what's going on here. I, I like, I feel like it's almost an initiation of just, I could be wrong. I really don't want to hear this. The, com the conversation is already getting wicked, but bear, bear, bear wickedness. But aside of the fuckery, I just feel like this is almost a, a way of letting niggas say nigga. I don't know why. I just get like, this is the initiation to start slowly but surely letting niggas be like yeah like yeah like if you see a nigga right there and he next to another nigga it's just visual description just be like yeah that nigga right over there like i just i don't know why i just this scene don't this don't this part don't make sense shorty body look good dog just caught me off guard you know in the real world fetishization i can see why that's a bad thing you know mm, okay you walk up to an asian girl and you're like oh i'm so turned on by asian girls i can see how that's like a bad thing but we're in porn this is like we are we are here to satisfy fetishes, right? I like how you did that too. Yeah. We are in porn. Um, yeah, it's just a verbiage. Like if you right. been around for a minute now. Yeah. What what do you got coming up? Anything in the future that uh we should know about? You're you're going on some trips and stuff for uh for a, a, a brand, right? Oh yeah, well I'm going I'm going to Europe for about two weeks, <coughs> but I did just drop my book. So What's the book? Uh, it's called uh, Louisiana Slim, the family, about my, my previous life before I got to adult. Really? Because I always wonder that when I see you with the tattoos on your face and everything. I'm like, I wonder what this guy was doing around town before he got into the porn game. A lot of things. When you, when you, when you come from poverty, you know, you got to make it how you make it. All right, ain't that the truth? Well, we're going to do like a full length interview at some point. But um, I appreciate you banging my wife. Nah. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. This nigga did not just say that, bro. No way. No ways, bro. He's wicked, bro. Bear wickedness. Bear fuckery. No, bro. No, son. I appreciate you for doing what? The man is busting my scalazzi, bro. Huh? And uh, my, pleasure. my pleasure is crazy. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to Lennon. 
Yeah, my son is trying to just. <laughs> but I'm a professional, you know. I go in, I knock it out. That's what I do. Hey, no, I, no, you get out of it. Absolutely, I cannot out. hold it against you, my friend. Did you see it yet? I saw a few of the the clips, and uh, yeah, I think you guys you put it down. What the? F so, I believe if it was mainstream, you probably would win an award. Oh well, that's a big idea. My assistant did give me the idea to submit it for an AVN. I was like, I don't know. I feel like oh. this might be crossing the line. Yeah, Pound Town. You just <laughs> left Pound Town. I was going to call it the wedding gift. Mm. <laughs> for you the look, record, that was a real laugh. You see what I'm saying? The nigga be fake laughing. This is a fake rich laugh. I get it, though. But damn. Literally your wedding gift, but it, it was something shit. that we kind of like <laughs> felt more comfortable with after the wedding and whatnot, right? It just makes sense. That's what everyone's latching on to. They just got married, you know? Mm. So, <laughs> all right, Mr. Love, appreciate you. Bye, Jason. Thank you. Mr. Bye. Love is crazy. Okay, how was that for you? Felt a little uncomfortable. Uncomfortable? Why? <sighs> I mean, seven years in this relationship, never look at a guy, dance with a guy, text back with a guy, nothing. And not looking at a guy. She's chatting. Hear me? And then I'm having sex with a guy. Maybe, maybe not looking at a guy like that, but nigga. Look at niggas, bro. Hi. You know, it's just a lot to process. I've been conditioned to believe it's cheating. There was one time where we went to a, a dinner and there was another guy there that just happened to be there and you knew I had slept with him and mm -hmm. you made me feel weird. So, yeah, it's just like a lot to unlearn. You always mention that scenario, but there's a lot more to that scenario that she's not mentioning. And that I was not that much more. I felt weird about it for other reasons. Okay. And it was like, it was your birthday, and you're just bringing it up. I'm like, oh, cool. Make me think about you fucking this guy over here. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I know. You I were mean, mad about it. I was a little mad at that time. I was much less uh, emotionally mature or whatever. I'm but clearly emotionally immature. I can't, I'm like giggling that you and Jason were just on the call together. So right, clearly. So that I was awkward for you? <laughs> yes. Me and him exchanging and him energy. And talking about it, just being like, I put it down, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, ah. Yeah, but he he's smart. He clarifies right away. It was a business move. You know, we, we're just making money, you know? Which is nice. Yeah. Nice for you, my nigga. He was dead ass. He was just throwing that in there to fake clean it up. Like I said, hey, man, that's it, bro. I've been streaming for like two hours. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. And tune in. I ain't going to lie. I really don't be streaming that much. Most of my content be on TikTok and YouTube and shit. Need to start throwing this shit on Instagram. I fuck with Instagram and shit, but I don't be one. Ah, I got another page. I might just start posting on that one and making my page private. I mean, uh, making my shit public. Oh no, bro, but this is I'm about to go back. Oh, excuse me, I'm about to go back go crazy, bro. This is this is video these videos I make now I make some I make a lot more tomorrow, bro. Lock fuck with you. Fuck with the kid, bro. I'm fake funny. I think I think I'm type funny and I feel like I got something going here. Man. I can even though Twitch don't be jacking me, it's cool. I just use their platform to let me do what I do. They're gonna jack me sooner or later. I'm gonna get this I'm gonna get the sauce for Twitch. Watch, hold on. Pay attention, look out. But all my other shit be going type fake crazy. Lock in with the gang, you heard? Word up, man. But y'all niggas be safe. I don't know what time it is. It's like 1 o'clock. I probably should stream a little bit more. But I'm tired. I'm a little tired. I don't know. I might I might do some more. I'm, we're going to see.